the man everyone loved, and he just preached hate. But he's gone now. Playing a little gameplay in the background while we talk. There have been some allegations brought against Timberwolf um, from his fleet admiral, from a colleague of his. There's also a video out from Casual SOB. All those links will be in the video description so you can watch them themselves. And if you don't know who Timberwolf was, he was another content creator that drama seemed to follow him wherever he went. Personally, I didn't get like him at all. From day one, off the jump, um, there's some drama that I can't discuss because I didn't clear it with the people it actually happened to, you know. And I'm kind of small, and I remember when he uh, tried to shit on me once. But uh, it stuck with me. And, you know, it's like he had groupies, which was really weird. But I guess everyone does, right? I mean, think about the YouTube scandal, how pedophiles were using codes to mark videos and lead to other videos of young kids. So, every kind of scumbag has their thing going on, and he had his, which was revolving around drama, um, money, and other things. So, let's take a look at a clip from his fleet admiral, and, I mean, just a look on her face, Hello. right? My name is Becky, a.k.a. Rebellion, a.k.a. Sherat Drim. I'm the leader of the 602 Club. I'm the fleet admiral of that fleet. We have a few fleet names. And the Armada. It has come to my attention that something needs to be addressed, and I should have addressed it a very, very long time ago. After seeing a video from Captain Blade today, a predator is still being a predator. I need everyone to understand that I'm not doing this to defend Captain Blade. Because quite frankly, when everything happened with me, as close as a friend as he was, he turned his back on me. Regardless of if he had all the information or not. I'm doing this because I should have done it five years ago. This is about Timberwolf. Warren Torrance. Whoa, that right there was, uh, damn, it hit hard. Um, she doesn't actually provide any concrete evidence in the video, but she does say that she has receipts that can prove her point, and that she has proof to the allegations she's making in the video. So, you know, I wrote, I would like to see those receipts. Um, there are quite a few people that I don't like in life, but I'm not going to condemn them um, to something super serious just because, you know, because. So, these allegations keep going back and forth. The people that do have interactions with him know he was quite manipulative. And, um, I don't know if people have blinders on or whatever. I saw it through it off the jump. And when I saw what he was doing to, I would like to call him a friend in game, but a colleague, another streamer, and, uh, yet another streamer, it was, like, all over again. Why is the drama following this Timberwolf guy? And, yeah... So, this next clip, we're going to listen to one of those dramas. It's going to be a bit of a different video from the normal kind of stuff that I would make, and something that I hoped I would never have to make in my lifetime. However, it's recently come to my attention that a false accusation has been made 
against myself and a good friend of mine, as well as being used to manipulate other friends into splitting my armada in-game. Now, because of what was said and done to my friends, I'm creating this video to clear the air, answer the accusations, and show people what's been going on behind the scenes. Now, you're going to see chat logs where all of this originated from, and I'm also going to bring to light a disturbing pattern that I've noticed recently as well. To go ahead and begin, the false accusation that has been made by Timberwolf and some of his new crew is that myself and a good friend are Nazis and white supremacists. All because my friend created a uniform in-game they claim to be a full-fledged Nazi uniform. Now, according to them, by extension, I am also a Nazi and a racist because I've quote-unquote refused to do anything about it and defended his use of what they call white supremacy symbols. Now, since making this accusation, they've all blocked me on all types of social media, removed me as a friend everywhere else that I could possibly contact them and refused to talk to me. You know, that's like a manipulative personality 101 move right there. Um, yeah, with clear judgment, you would want to distance yourself from a person. But if you made a mistake, you would go back. If you had ulterior motives for starting some kind of drama, which in this case, that's what he infers to, um, then, of course, you would have you and... I'm sorry, if you were hanging out with him at the time and you went along with it, then yes, you fit it. His lackeys um, all act in a particular way, very clicky. You know, it's, uh, it's just like a recipe for that whole manipulative thing. Now, I was giving the man the benefit of the doubt for the longest time, but a man that I happen to respect in-game um, is Casual SOB, and he put out a video this morning, and I want to put up a clip of it and let you decide. Hello, everybody. This is SOB, and today's video is not one that I truly wanted to make, but I felt like I needed to. So, as many of you will have seen in the last 24 or so hours, Timberwolf has deleted his YouTube channel and just eliminated his social media presence. And this happened quite quickly without warning. You know, there's, there's, there's some reasons for it and they're not good they're not good for timberwolf let me just start out what i know about timberwolf i'm, I'm not even going to talk about the sto drama he's had over the years let's just talk about who timberwolf is in real life and i'm not going to say his name or like completely dox him here or anything like that but let, let's just start with the big one if you were ever on any sto facebook group you looked at his sto facebook page you donated to him or you went to donate to his MS charity thing a few years back, then you saw his real name. And if you took that real name and you put it into Google, your search results would have brought you up to his child abuse charge, which is specifically an ISI child abuse charge. That ISI stands for inflicting serious injury. The one thing I can say about what casual SOB said after working for the city of New York for a really long time, a decade or so, before I became disabled, uh, he is correct. The ISI coding does mean uh, what he just explained. There's one other large YouTuber that I don't agree with that I think is a total special person. Um, but... It's going to go, I'm always going to go back and forth and say if a streamer doesn't give back to the community, if he doesn't do something for the community, then he's not worth your time or watching. In this case, the allegations that were brought up are pretty hard to ignore, you know. If that first young lady is serious about his 
uh, pedophilia and she has documentation, then I would like to see that. If he's been stealing from people or asking for loans and favors and not giving them back, then yes, that should be made public to all of us. The STO community, aside from everything else, guys, and if this is too role play for you, too bad, but we're Star Trek fans, okay? There's a certain moral ethics attached to Star Trek. And if your streamer or your entertainer doesn't f completely follow them, it's okay. But when they break them and make the community fight against each other constantly, why are you giving them the support to grow? I've given away more ships in a year to people than I have seen other big name streamers do in the entire decade or so that they've been doing this. Also, know who you're donating to. Predators are out there. Whether any of these allegations are true or not, keep in mind predators are out there and the way that they get away with what they do is by acting like anyone any normal person, quote, end quote, you know, they know how to talk to people. Manipulation can not only be taught, it can be a born gift. But when used wrongly, yeah, that gift can kind of hurt a lot of people. So this is what I know of Timberwolf. I know some other things that I can't divulge without saying some other names. But this is what's out there. All the links are below if you want to listen to everything for yourself incomplete. And I recommend you do give it a listen. Listen to the stuff on your own. Come to your own conclusions. You already know where I stand on it. All right. So thanks for listening to the video. Thanks for stopping by. You know I love my subscribers, my followers, my Patreon people, the people on Twitter. Instagram and TikTok, you guys are incredible. I love you all, and I will never be the target of a video like this one. Guaranteed.